ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the NASA satellite that's about to fall to Earth. But first, the likes of Spotify, Tidal, and Apple Music have all removed a song made using artificial intelligence that cloned the voices of Drake and The Weeknd. The track called Heart on My Sleeve went viral on TikTok, and according to industry news website Music Business Worldwide, racked up hundreds of thousands of plays on YouTube and a quarter of a million on Spotify before it was taken down. It was created by a TikTok user called Ghostwriter977, who said they worked as an actual ghostwriter for years for major music labels, but claimed the pay was next to nothing. As frustrations grow around the use of AI in the arts, Ghostwriter 977's TikTok bio says, I'm just getting started. A study looking at biodiversity loss and the decline in animal populations globally suggests we need to act more quickly than first thought to protect nature. Unless we act soon, it's likely that we'll see these declines continue and that will affect not just the animals that we uh, love, but also the livelihoods where we rely on nature for them. Dr Robin Freeman from the Zoological Society of London was part of the team behind the study, which was published in the Royal Society Proceedings B. He told us their study suggests we may have underestimated the effects of historical trends in land use and climate. So even if we begin to change uh, the way we use land and the rate of climate change now, some of the stuff we observe is already locked into the system, which means that we need to change things more urgently and more quickly in order to see recoveries in the future. Robin told us he thinks the public needs to start showing they care about things like biodiversity loss to convince governments and major industries to take action. It seems unlikely that that will happen unless we show that we care. And so so I think whether that involves getting involved in a conservation organisation, writing to your MP, I think doing some of that will clearly help because unless we help the politicians know that we think it's important, it seems unlikely they're going to change what they need to do. UK businesses are going to be urged to beef up their cyber security later as a government minister warns of potential attacks by hackers linked to Russia. Oliver Dowden set to tell the Cyber UK conference in Belfast that these groups are ideologically motivated rather than financially motivated and have begun to target Britain this year. The cabinet minister is also expected to appeal to companies in charge of keeping our country running to take their own security seriously. 11 Indonesian fishermen have been rescued after surviving for six days on a desert island without food or water. Two fishing boats got caught in a collision in the Pacific Ocean during Tropical Storm Ilsa. One of them ran aground on Bedwell Island, 195 miles west of the Australian coast. The men were spotted by an Australian border force plane on a routine surveillance mission on Monday. All 11 men were rescued by helicopter and taken to hospital, where Border Force said they were reported to be in good health despite their ordeal. Now, a 300 kilogram satellite used by NASA since 2002 to study the sun is set to come crashing down to Earth this week. The RESI Observatory was shut down in 2018 because of communications issues after years of observing solar flares and coronal mass ejections from the sun. It should mostly burn up in the atmosphere, but some parts are expected to fall to Earth. The space agency said the risk of anyone being harmed by plunging satellite pieces is low, about 1 in 2,467. Coming up, the best planets to search for signs of life And Netflix finally reveals when its crackdown on password sharing will begin. Why not hit follow and give us a rating during the break? Welcome back. Data suggests that losing weight and keeping it off can help reverse diabetes. They're the findings of a clinical trial which found that losing weight can put type 2 diabetes in remission for at least five years. Of those who took part in the diabetes remission clinical trial, a quarter of people in remission from the condition two years after starting a low calorie diet was still in remission three years later. Those people no longer needed to take medication to manage their blood sugar levels and had an average weight loss of around one stone six pounds at the five year point. 
Scientists reckon they found the best areas of the universe to search for signs of life. Research suggests planets in the habitable zones of stars that don't have a lot of metals in their atmosphere may be the best targets. This is because planets around stars with low metallicity would have more ultraviolet shielding, protecting organisms from UV radiation. Here on Earth, we're lucky enough to have oxygen in the atmosphere and the fragile ozone layer helping protect us from the sun's harmful UV rays. And finally, Netflix says it's going to start cracking down on password sharing over the next couple of months. It's kicking off in the United States and other countries during the current quarter, but it's not known when it will come into effect in the UK. The streaming giant has already trialled the changes in Canada, New Zealand, Portugal and Spain, asking customers to pay an additional fee if they share a password with someone who lives in a different house. So for now, it's a waiting game to see when the extra charges will be brought in. You're up to date. Come back at four o'clock for The Leader Podcast, where we'll discuss London's renting crisis and the rise of rogue landlords. We're back tomorrow afternoon at one. See you then.